exactly for my outfit 0246 192 again 0246 192 yesterday that beautiful outfit uh, fully embroidered black star uh, jersey look-alike was also done by sonar fashions and most of you have requested for some we'll try and get them to you uh, in good time but this morning uh, my guests are seated but before i introduce them to you i'll uh, tell you what's on the front pages the Ghanaian times says at the media made in national media enhancement training program protect unity stability of the country as anti hini tax the media omicron variant leads uh, COVID-19 case count, WACPIP, and the Ghana National Fire Service interdict five personnel committee to probe 30,000 Ghana City theft allegation, UTAC strike, students stranded, nukes backs the action, and the Daily Guide this morning. Uh, wondering what's happening to the Daily Guide. I'm just about... Okay. <laughs> um, consider two sessions of dialysis on NHIS. First, Kai Boss appeals to government. Also, serve as links to peace, Otum to Media, 93 million Ghana City's mass lock scandal, Mahama girl still missing, and accident kills 12 at Sefshi Bibiani, police probe NDC boys false aircraft allegation. The Finder newspaper, GJ Primpak seek better conditions for journalists, something that I just mentioned this morning. Road offenses finds uh, rake in 2.6 million Ghana cities in 2021. Fresh students plead with UTAC to call a strike. Otumfo calls on media to foster consensus building to douse political tensions. Cocoa Board enforcing zero tolerance policy on child labor. Fifi Boafo strike is UTAC being unfair. That's uh, based on a document signed with state agencies. And the daily graphic is next. Preserve country's unity as Antony charges media. Also, students plead with government to address Utah concerns. Updated app improves SIM card registration. And on the back page, Morocco stun Ghana with late winner. AU Black Stars will bounce back strongly. That's what he says. Eric Adam Agbana is a deputy national youth organizer of the National Democratic Congress. He's here on the ticket of his party. His party sent him, as I always say. My only surprise is that yesterday, not uh, too many Ghanaians expected victory from the team. And even on social media, I had cause to argue with people who felt like the team uh, is not worth supporting and all that. But I keep saying that this is the national team. At that stage, mm. whether it is Jordan are you, the day are you, mm. uh, whoever the players are, they are carrying the flag of our country. And so no matter so. what, mm. No matter what has gone into the preparation, mm. we need to show them the kind of support that, that they deserve. Even mm. countries that have no hopes of mm. even winning a mm. single match in the, in the group stage came there with their support base and people were supporting them. We need to share the boys on to victory. I'm you. sure the coach would have learned some lessons. I mm. thought that youngsters like, like Isaku should have been introduced into the game much earlier mm. because these boys are hungry to succeed. They are hungry to show what they are made of. I believe that the team will learn from what happened mm. yesterday <clears throat> and I have no doubt at all that Ghana will move forward into the next stage of the competition and we are capable of bringing the I trophy hear you. home. Thank you. George, Black Stars, <laughs> are you also a football enthusiast like uh, <laughs> I am. Adam? I am. Mm. I am. I'm a fabulous fan. You, you know? are? Yeah. yeah. Uh, support <laughs> protocol. Yeah. Uh, how, can you, how can you be doing that <laughs> to yourself? <laughs> only that day. Only, only <laughs> how can you be doing that to yourself? How can you support protocol? <laughs> how can you be doing this I to know. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I realize it. I'm saying no, it. I'm, I'm a great <laughs> Olympics fan. Don't do these things to yourself, George. <laughs> it is not good for you. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love football mm. so much. And, and you know, when, when it comes to supporting the national theme, mm. uh, I, 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 I give my all to uh, the Black Stars, the Satellites, the Starlets, and all that. And even our, our women football, mm. you know, right. we, we I try to uh, support them. Uh, yesterday, <clears throat> I, I realized a lot of Ghanaians were not a bit about the, the chances of the black stars mm -hmm. and, and and as you rightly said between uh, uh the moroccans and ghana mm -hmm. uh, people said we were rather the underdogs Underdog. then i said whoa ghana black stars underdogs. and and if you listen to the commentaries too you realize you know uh some of the commentators were thinking so mm -hmm. uh, that between the two uh, it's like the moroccans uh, had the upper hand you know <clears throat> but i was i was disagreeing with them 
uh, until the game was over and, and we saw what we saw. Uh, to be honest with you, Johnny, uh, I would, uh, maybe people will say it's early days yet, but I thought <coughs> the coach, I've had uh, many commentators say that is his style, but I thought he was uh, too much defensive minded, mm, too much mm, defensive mm. minded and, and banking his hope on counter attack. Unfortunately, when there's counter attack, there's nobody to support at the back. No, up front. Okay, up front. So right, the yeah. person has been able to move with the ball. Mm -hmm. And everybody is now on him. Who is there to save him, you know, so that he can release the ball to mm -hmm. and then reposition all himself right. to take it back. Mm -hmm. You get it. And he's alone in the midst of all these tigers. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and it's unfortunate. Uh, uh, and two, I, I thought the coach should have read the game properly. If indeed he read it, he would have seen at the 65th to 70th minute some top-notch players that we think they are. We're tired. Okay, they were tired. They had mm. given off and, and they reached the peak point <laughs> and, and were exhausted. They couldn't go. They couldn't go. Mm. And yet he was leaving them in there. That's why uh, uh, Adam's issue of some young stars that he thought would have, yes, could have been brought in for the remaining 20 minutes uh, to, to change the style of the game. Unfortunately, Milo thought otherwise and, <laughs> and kept them in. And, and you could see the day was tired. He, you know, he did his best. But you could see that he was exhausted. Mm. Okay? And he was still going. And, and you, we can mention other names. Okay? But the, 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 there was a darling guy. I think some pencil guy. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. Excellent yeah. movie. Philippe and and to be honest, yeah. you, you agree with some people who are saying Pate was a pale shadow of himself. Look. Pate was the way we were going there, apart from the day. Mm. The player we were all banging on was Pate. Yeah. He is the guy to carry the team along. He's not a captain. But you know we have such exactly, players. Exactly. Yes, you know, the team is there. There's a captain. But this is the pivotal person that yeah. is going to carry the team along. The Pate verb, was, the yes, was around him. Yes, Pate was the person everybody was expecting yesterday to do that job. Unfortunately, he was so ordinary. He didn't distinguish himself in any way. A premiership player? Mm. You see? Yeah, he, he actually caused the goal. But I mean, players do have the advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get it. But no, he, 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 so you know, what, you what, get to a what, point what, what, and Abedi Pele carries the team mm. along. What should, Pate was to do that. What yesterday. should Milo be doing now since we, we didn't offer Sobolo? We went to Milo. <laughs> So the second game, after we'll the be second doing game. The, the election. But, but there's yeah, a possibility. You and Master Chair, the first time. Johnny, Johnny, there's, there's something. <laughs> Allow me to wrap up quickly. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, we, we still have the chance there. Mm. Uh, the two remaining matches. Uh, the toughest match is what we played yesterday. Right. And so, with, uh, but now, because Gabon won, they've got extra energy mm -hmm. and they wouldn't want to just lose out to the Black Stars. Mm -hmm. They would think Black Star can even be beaten. Mm. So, let's go all out for it. Okay, and I understand there are two top-notch players they didn't play yesterday. Mm. And they will be playing in the next match. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, yeah, we should Obama, go yeah. all out. Yes, yeah, we Obama. should go all out. As for the Comoros, they are the uh, uh, Ripping no, boys they cannot, there. Okay. They cannot, okay. they Gabon, yeah. but Gabon, <laughs> we should win the next two matches. If we do, we qualify. We qualify, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, take a minute quickly. Let's, Johnny, let's I, think mm. that, I think that you mentioned about coaching. Uh, mm. I have nothing personal against Coach, Coach Milovan mm. Rivag or whatever the name is. But I, I have always maintained that we don't need a foreign coach. Because with the game that we saw yesterday, Kwesi Apia could equally have played similar or even better football with the team. Mm. Siki Akuno could have done the same. I think that we need to develop local coaches and support them. When you look at the amount of money and investment that we make in the team, the amount of money that goes into paying salaries for foreign coaches. Mm. And we have created a situation Abdul where... Abdurazak says you take 5,000. Right? Yeah, we have created a situation <laughs> where... <laughs> we've created a situation where we always pay the foreign coaches better. Mm. But anytime we want anything significant, <laughs> it was with local coaches. Uh, Even look at Accra House of Folk, when they conquered the whole of Africa mm. and became the eighth best team in the world so. in the early 2000s, it was with the late... So yeah. I think that we should have confidence in our local coaches. I didn't see any difference in coaching or what I said I hear you. Thank you. But most times the budget for the local coaches for ways and means is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Go efficient. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's take a, a look at the, the information minister, Mr. Kojo Pongkuma, yesterday mm -hmm. from the...
uh, Ashanti region, Mesha Palace specifically, where the uh, media capacity enhancement program happened. 250 journalists were told would benefit from the first batch of the training for five days. Um, and let's take a look quickly at it. Assumption that media necessarily has the capacity to handle all matters that pop up daily, from archaeology to zoology, only because we have a pen or a microphone is false. This falsehood is further aggravated by the reality that a significant proportion of practicing journalists are not recruited because they have graduated from prior journalism training institutions. From our Minister for Information, George, yeah. is capacity enhancement enough? <laughs> Uh, uh, it, it's, it's just as you said on your bikes. Mm. Uh, it's, it's part of the process and, and a very important and key aspect. Mm. Uh, if somebody decides to practice as a journalist, mm -hmm. uh, you know, his knowledge and, and the skills he has to be able to <clears throat> dispense with that to, to, to help build society, inform, educate and entertain the public. It's very important, okay? So if his knowledge is deep, he's deep-seated, uh, he's got a requisite skill to be able to do his work, whether uh, in the electronic or the print media, mm -hmm. you know, those things are important. And so if, if uh, the information minister uh, has decided to help in the capacity building, uh, it's good. Uh, it's, it's a step in the right direction. But you brought other things in your bite mm -hmm. uh, which, which are very important remuneration and, and, and media ownership. Mm. Uh, the, my, my, the, they are strong points, but I think, uh, the, you see, every part of the world, we have the, the, the media mm. having their ideologies and, and, and editorial policies, mm. okay? And so you have said something, that because a media is owned by a top-notch MPP, uh, mogul or mm. guru, and 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 you know as, you are as working as a, as a politician. I didn't say MPP. no, 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 no. I, I am making okay, my. Okay, you are influence. adding yes, MPP. Yes, okay, the yeah. MPP, and then you know you have an issue to, which is of <laughs> concern to the Guinean public, and you want to publish it, put it out there in the public, so that the public will know and then uh, uh, have a good discourse on that, and yet the owner says no. Okay? Mm. Yes, we, we agree. These things happen. And, and you, he thinks that if his media house puts it out there, mm. his party in government uh, will, will not be happy and, and will not look too good. It can affect the fortunes of the party maybe in the next election or otherwise. What stops you from giving it to uh, Adam Agbana in another media house mm. and giving him the facts that, you know, these are things that we have seen? Why don't you publish it? Because I have difficulty in publishing it here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or two, if you feel it's against your principles, mm -hmm. what stops you from moving on? Okay? <laughs> I agree with you. You said anger and other. It's true. But there are principles <laughs> to be followed <laughs> in there. Mm -hmm. Because I have said, if, if I want, I personally, to be honest, if, if I were a trained journalist, I'll find it difficult mm -hmm. to work in power effort. I find it difficult to work in TVXYZ mm. because they will not go with my principles and code. Omani okay? Mm. Okay? Mm. I may be comfortable at Oman FM. Why I is, may. Why would you be and I will be comfortable at a national media house. I'll be comfortable at a uh, neutral, in quotes, house like TV3. Mm. Okay? Even though these days people perceive uh, TV3 okay. in a certain way. There's you also a it? corruption perception index. Yes. There, but it is not. It doesn't mean that the government is corrupt. Or, yes. Or, <laughs> oh. or, <laughs> you have brought in that. No, I'm just yeah. saying. No, no, it's okay. So perception it's okay. index there. No, no. Perception index fits into the <laughs> thinking and the mindset of the people. Because mm. the people who are saying so. Mm. Okay? And so it's difficult to measure actual corruption. And so if the perception is going, you'll be, uh, 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 you'll be... Well, let's not, let's not digress. No, 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 I'm not going mm. there. As a government, you, you, it will be full hardiness on your part to say mm. you are ignoring that index, mm. okay? And so when we come to these issues that you've put in there, mm -hmm. uh, yes, the person wants to eat, mm -hmm. but he knows he owes his professional training and others 
to serve the people with us. Uh, we've had the uh, Manasseh Azuis and, and uh, other people. They've done their work. They are still doing their work. There are pers uh, persecutions and others, but they have survived. You are doing your bites. Mm. I don't know. You get calls, but I don't know when you've, you've closed from this place <laughs> and going home and you were looking over your shoulders. Okay? I don't know. You haven't said it. If it's still, then it's, it's a challenge. But that's what the president said, that he would prefer the media space with ugly noises mm. to culture of silence okay mm. and that is right you must speak your mind you must get that if you do that and you have the requisite knowledge mm. base okay that's the essence of the capacity building you have the requisite knowledge base to do what you're doing people may disagree with you but they will commend you okay Voltaire says something I would disagree with what you say okay but I would defend till death your right to say so and that is the philosophy and principle of the president. Mm. Okay? And so let's go on. And, and Kojo Opon Honorable is, is decided that this is one step. As for the ownership and others, you yourself can take control of some of them. Okay? And then push the frontiers of the media freedoms and, and, and informations and the education that you put there. You must have the knowledge base. You said something in your bite, which mm. is interesting. You say, George may go out there and see somebody speaking uh, erudite tree and say, come and work for mm. me. Okay? And the person is not going to any journalism school. Right. Then we ask ourselves, does George take the steps to ensure that that person gets the training, okay, maybe certificate course mm. along the mm. line mm. and on, on in-service training to be able to build his or her capacity for the sake of the media house that have employed her to be working. Mm. Okay? So these things are also there that you can do. Government may come in once a while like they have done. But how many times will they do? It's 250 people. How many journalists do we have? Over 400 media houses, right? Mm -hmm. So how many journalists do we have there in the country? 250 is good. It's a good beginning. Mm. But I think we have a lot more to do. The remuneration aspect is bad. Mm. It's bad. Apart from, I don't think more than 25% of media houses in Ghana pay their staff the way they ought to be paid. Not more than 25%. And they won't say it, so I said it. Yes, <laughs> you yeah. got it. It's, 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 that one is a serious issue. In fact, uh, somewhere recently, I, I, I've been going to uh, some media houses. There's one person was just talking to me, Sally George. Do you know that some of us take like 200, 300? I said, come on, you don't mean it. Hmm. I said, yes. At the end of the month, we take like 200, 300. I said, Jesus Christ. You get it? And, and how do you expect this person to be objective? We live okay. on Sunday. <laughs> no, it cannot be objective. Hmm. Because if, if I go there and I dip my hand in my pocket and I put a 500 in his hand, do you know what I've done to him? Huh? You think you'll be able to criticize me when, you know, uh, you, you know, because he knows when I come and I'm going, something will drop. You get it? And, and it will compromise them. We don't want that. People who have decided to do media business, let's invest in them. And let's invest in the training and remunerations of our staff mm. so that they'll be able to give their all. When they go out, they are not thinking of Sully. You get it? Because they'll go... I know some media houses here in Ghana, mm. even today. Mm. When they come to your program, you give them solid, they won't take it. Yeah. It is true in Ghana. So let's begin to build capacities and then uh, training to get our people to that level so that uh, we can... Because the media, the fourth estate of the realm, mm. is very important to the success of otherwise of our democracy. George, they, they, uh, His Royal Majesty mentioned yes. something about countries, about countries' unity and that we should help to develop and all of that. But, for example, the murder of Ahmed Swale is still lingering on. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't engender confidence in many journalists. I tell you what, since I started Johnny's by sometime in October, if I tell you the number of people who have called me to say, be careful, you have no idea. This includes security people, top security people. Yeah. So now the question is, this is a high risk enterprise, but then if we, for example, brought closure to Ahmed Swale's issue, don't you think it would then serve as a deterrent for anybody who would want to 
put another person in harm's way or definitely, whatever it is. Definitely. We have not been definitely, able to do that. Definitely. But you see, that is not a political decision. It's, it's a matter of criminal investigations. Mm. Okay. A, a, a report has been made. Uh, the CID is working on it. Uh, we've had cases even in the States in, in, in Britain, which have lingered on for more than two decades. Mm before they got you know some people have even been wrongly in prosecuted and imprisoned before they got to know the truth mm. and the facts mm. you get it and so i think let's allow the uh, body institution tax with that responsibility to investigate but i agree with you it doesn't engender confidence it mm. puts fear in 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 the people who have decided to practice journalism mm. okay and so when it happens that way uh, it's worrying because they have a case in point that there was one Ahmed Swale, who, who uh, died as mm. a result mm. of his work. That's the assumption, mm -hmm. because you, you made the uh, argument that uh, his picture was put uh, out there. You know that when you are involved in, 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 in covert uh, operations, mm. okay, it is risky. Right. You know, I listened to uh, Anas, mm -hmm. you know, mm. uh, that he went to is it Uganda or somewhere, and, and the danger inherent in what he was doing, he, it came face to face, you know, with him. You get it? And, and he said, whoa. It, it, that is covered operations. That's how dangerous it is. That's why it is covered operations. Okay? And so otherwise it would have been obvious. Okay? You put it in the public domain, do whatever. But you need to go deep, dive deeper to be able to uncover the rots. Mm. And that is the duty of the journalist. Mm. Okay? And so in doing that, the person you are going to expose may also position himself, if he gets to know, to harm you, okay? <laughs> that, that's the danger, okay? And, and when it happens that way, there's the high possibility or propensity that, oh, it's under this government, so the government has a hand, a hand in it. I, is but it? because mm. up to now we haven't unraveled, uh, the, uh, sorry, arrested the killers of Ahmed Suwale, mm. we cannot sit so, so So, George, you see, we keep dropping on the... Media yes. Press Freedom Index. Now, this, you say, is a matter of criminal prosecution. Yeah, investigation. But there also has to be the political interest. Yes. Because the Attorney General yeah. is an appointee of the President. I mean, you don't feel to say that the President, while he was Attorney General under President Kufo, helped to repeal the criminal libel. You yeah. don't feel to give him that credit yeah. and many others. Yeah. This is a, a, a botch in in the in our whole press uh enhancement development thing don't you think yes definitely of course i i've said it uh that if if an investigative journalist is murdered the way ahmed swali was murdered you cannot as a government you cannot say you don't care you will care and mm. and government is shown interest in the investigation processes and all that mm. but it's unfortunate that up to now uh, we haven't been able to you know because we had instances where <laughs> top-notch politicians have sat on national television to mm. say uh, put out names and yet we've had people come on television that their names have been mentioned but mm. they know nothing about that mm. okay and then later we got to know that oh it's not this a but it's another a with the same name you get it and other things that you know we have heard i think uh uh we, we it's for our own good if we uh commit more to the mm. investigations to get to the bottom I of this Ahmed Swale anyway and uh, other journalists and uh, what because look uh, you remember sometimes our own my, man. In fact, my picture was also put on that same platform uh -huh. at some point last year. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you always... Uh, yeah, no, 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 my, my picture okay. was put up in a, in a very reckless manner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Very reckless yes, manner. Okay, well. and that's yeah. not good. And, and to be there uh, under uh, the presidency of a consummate Democrat mm. and, and, and freedom fighter, somebody who fought for the uh, expansion of the... Media pluralism. Uh, yes, and, and something like that happens. I know the president himself is not happy with some of these things. But, uh, action, uh, action, yes, not yes, words. Yes, resource, yeah. Mm. We need the resource. I hear we you. need the resource. Let's, let's refer to it. Adam, so stepping from yesterday, this uh, initiative happened, 250 and, and journalists. And before you go, well, two four spoke. Right, wise. he did. So it's two, of course, it, of it's wisdom. known as King Solomon. Yeah. Two, 250 journalists will benefit from this initiative uh, from the Ministry of Information, Kojopon Krumah leading the charge, Fatih supporting and, and all the others there. What's on your mind 
from where you sit as a political actor, a young person who's also interested in what the journalists or what journalists do? Johnny, journalism, just like any other profession, mm. demands constant building of capacity, learning on learning and relearning. And so any effort or attempt to help build the capacity of our journalists across the country must be applauded. However, I have a fundamental challenge with the organizers of this maiden capacity building. Where is the National Media Commission, mm. the GJA, and maybe even the NCC? Why should it take government to organize such a training or capacity building for journalists? The GJA was there. It's, they, they were there, but they are not the organizers. Mm. This is a different thing being a participant and then owning or controlling the process. And so for me, it is an attempt by the government mm. to manipulate and extend a hand of influence over a media landscape that ought to be independent. And so, Kojo Opo Nkrumah and his deputy or the Ministry of Information deserves no applause for organizing this. Really? It should not be an initiative really? of government. Yes. Really? And I'll that, go that's not being fair. No, no, jo Johnny, you see, you see, it's important for us to put the issue in proper perspective. Okay. I agreed with you that capacity building is necessary. But who organizes the capacity building is what the issue is. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine the communications outfit of the NDC tomorrow decides that we want to build the capacity of 500 journalists. Mm. And so we are inviting journalists all over. What do you think will be the outcome or the expected outcome of such a training? Government has an interest. Government wants to look good in the eyes of the electorate always. Mm. Government knows and recognizes, and Kujo Opon Kuma as a former journalist, reckons the instrumentality of the media or journalists in government's attempt to look good in the eyes of the public. And so, when you organize a capacity building for journalists, people who are expected to be very professional and objective, mm. you are the one funding their continuous learning or further studies. You are the one building their capacity for them. Even if it remains a perception, it will be something that will really influence the journalists who are taking part in this training. And so government had no business organizing it. The GJA, mm. and I had the opportunity to listen to the current GJA president when he was campaigning <clears throat> to be president of the GJA. Mm -hmm. One of the key things that he kept trumpeting was that he was going to help build the capacity of journalists and also help increase or improve the conditions of service of journalists across the country. Apart from the fact that he has failed, he cannot go and sit there as DJ president and allow government who had no business doing this <coughs> to do this. And I, so I, I, the uh, organizers is wrong. Sorry, Adam, you know you may sorry, disagree with sorry, me. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just providing information. You know, I, I was at TV Africa, uh, host of uh, Daybreak on TV Africa. I remember that Roland Afelmoni, GJ president and a certain Gertrude Nyaku of uh, Institute of Commercial Management UK in Ghana. They had collaborated with the GJA to organize training program uh, of, of, of this magnitude, like uh, for a capacity enhancement but, kind of but, thing. But, but the this was around in this 2015. Morning. No, I'm not, so I'm not making reference. This was around 2015, but, 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 2016 ish. But, but so I just want to say. Wait, yes, okay, but, but what we have been told this morning is that this is the maiden. Right. Capacity building. From, from the government side. And, and it, it must not even repeat itself again. The GJA must not allow their members to sit and be trained or have their capacity built by government. Government has no business doing that. But the information ministry Secondly, works hand in glove with no, the press. You see, mm. the fact that the information ministry works hand in hand with the press does not mean that they should assume a responsibility that ought not to be theirs. What is government's business in training journalists? If they want to train people. They should build the capacity of their communicators and government spokespersons. They have no business building capacity of journalists who ought to be independent. I disagree with you. Secondly, allow, allow, you, you note your disagreement. who are the beneficiaries? 
I am getting sick and tired of the fact that we seem to be running Ghana in Accra and Kumasi alone. Look at the benefits. Even when the president organizes meets the press, most of the journalists that we see are people from media houses in Accra and Kumasi. But Johnny, the misinformation mm. that goes on, especially in the rural areas, on our radio stations, it's, it's, it's worrying. And so, who are the 250 beneficiaries? Mm. What was the criteria used mm. in selecting them as the beneficiaries of this training? If even the training is right in the first place. And so, the big question is, what about those journalists who are mm. working or operating in the rural areas? It is because of this same problem. That is why teachers, nurses, mm. and other government workers refuse to accept posting to rural communities because they continue to give up their best in these rural areas mm. and nobody recognizes them. And so this morning, we are hearing that 250 journalists have been trained. Was anybody chosen from Jigwadi FM in, 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 in Georgia or somewhere like that? Has anyone been chosen from Yendi, Savelugu? But these journalists, they are so powerful in these rural areas mm. because they are the sole bearers of information. Unlike Accra where there is a plethora of options. And so mm. when I wake up in the morning, I may decide to watch New Day or watch Tune to another station or to <coughs> so who are the beneficiaries. It's also a key question that we, we have I, to I'm ask. I'm sure the list will come out in the coming days. The third Good. issue. Thank you. The third issue. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, if the list it's comes okay. out, it's okay. they have to provide information as to what the criteria was in right. selecting them. How the people My third picked. issue mm -hmm. is that, Johnny, the conditions of service of journalists mm -hmm. across Ghana, very, very terrible. I have uh, been to programs where many journalists and reporters, after coming to cover your program, the way they even struggle or fight for Peters in the name of Soli. But you cannot blame them because many of the media houses mm -hmm. are not well resourced to even pay these journalists very well mm -hmm. or the reporters very well. And so these days, to have a story done is just about your ability to give something little to some journalists. But I must admit that in the face of all of these difficulties, there are still some very highly professional journalists who will not fall for some of these little tokens or handouts. Mm. And so we still have a lot of professionals. But I think that the GJA must sit up, especially issues concerning the welfare of, of, of yeah. journalists, issues about security. Mm -hmm. I am surprised that even when the family of Ahmed Swale is marking you know, they have either the first year anniversary, mm -hmm. second mm -hmm. of, of the passing. Mm -hmm. The GGA cannot even organize simple lectures and put pressure on government to demand that those who were involved mm -hmm. in the killing of Ahmed Swale be sanctioned. There are many yeah. other journalists. You have a lot of uh, questions for GGA, don't you? Because they, they have a lot of questions for them because <laughs> they are the, the body that could be. But the GGA... Mm -hmm. We would be able to sit with government for training program, but cannot demand accountability for, from government on security of journalists. Edward Adeti, who are in this country, after he exposed a regional minister mm. in a corruption scandal, his house was raided. We saw how the gentleman for so many months could not step or sleep in his own house. Johnny, journalists in this country are suffering. The threats that some of you mm. receive, I know you may not be able to put it on air. Mm. For us, the politicians, when we receive threats, we take it as an occupational hazard. We do mm. receive threats. Mm. Sometimes you come on air, you, you're done, and somebody sends a message. The way you come after this minister, we will deal with you, we will do this, we will do that. And for us, it's like occupational hazard. Mm. But you are doing your work as journalists, professionals. How many times have we had journalists threatened by members of the government and nothing is being done about it? So my point is that we need to have a whole conversation mm. about welfare of journalists, about how to build the capacity of journalists, and even who qualifies to be a journalist. These are issues we should pay attention well, to. The, the Constitution but says uh, bring there's, freedom, there's, there's freedom of... Yes. And the, what, what's what's and, wrong and, with and, that? No, I, I, think, I think that this should be an initiative of the journalists themselves and not government. 
because by doing that, mm. you are interfering, seeking to influence, manipulate people who ought to be independent. Well, Imagine the government is lending would you, a helping Johnny, hand. Johnny, 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 call it Johnny, 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 and, uh, and Johnny, manipulation, yes. Johnny, how would you feel mm -hmm. if the government of the day decides to organize capacity building for judges? It's the government initiative, not the initiative of the judiciary, but government of Ghana, maybe the Attorney General's Department mm. or Ministry of uh, Justice, who say that we are organizing capacity building for judges. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I'm saying that these are people who ought to be independent. Mm. Government has no business organizing this, and we must not applaud them for it. I, I hear Johnny, you. Before you, you go, you, let, let, let's see. You, you let's get see. a bite. Are it. you saying uh, Johnny's bite will end mm. if Johnny were to be part of the 250 people who have the capacity? Uh, that, no, no, it doesn't mean that. That cannot it make him as for, stop. It doesn't that. mean as for, that. It's as for me. No, is it, is it, you have started with the five days. You started with the five days training. Tomorrow they will say that as part of the capacity building, we are sending Johnny. We are sending Johnny to the UK for two yeah. years to go and learn this thing. And you think that all oh, this is... This no, are, let me so you see, this is a scheme. Group this is an attempt to, to influence. When you spoke about the... Uh, to build the capacity of your mm. communicators. Group Park, Dr. Parker C. Doom did something. He's... Uh, this thing in Cape Elmina. Mm. You know, at a point, it's like he was bringing money from other sector to pay them. And mm. he told them, look guys, I've given a place to you. Make sure it works and it's profitable so we can pay you from there. I don't have to be taking money from other sectors to come and pay you. Mm. You get it. And so he checked there. And I think within three months ago, the new management were able to be, you know, they moved out, got a lot of advertisement and co were able to reach up to now. It's there because he won them. If you don't do that, I'll close down the media apps. Okay? Mm. Today it's still there. So it tells you the new management decided to take up the responsibility and do the last yes, one. I mean, then my brother is talking I mean, about uh, somebody exposed a minister. Mm. It's time of Osampofu in Ghana. Are you not aware of that story? No, no, no. It's time of Osampofu in Ghana. Yes, he's in Ghana. You remember a certain tape mm. and what he it's, said it's on those Apart tape. from the fact that it's a subject yeah? in court, no, which you can go The fact that on this, the, 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 the matter is in court. It's the matter is in court. No, no, listen. If I have a banter with you, all that, all that. Somebody, the matter is in court. It's a matter in court. It's not even comment. The matter is in court. It's a matter in court. It's a matter in court. It's a matter in court. Let's take advantage and then. People. No, no, no. That's a matter of fact. I don't even know why you are making reference to that. matter is in court. It's sad judicate. It's sad judicate. So it's 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 unethical for me to discuss. Hold on, hold on for me. Very, very. But but you see, I mentioned I mentioned Ahmed Swale. You just remember after he mentioned Adetie, I just remembered my my good friend as well, Ajafo and his team at Modern Ghana, Brichum and Ajafo. You remember they did a story about National Security Minister. And they read that. The office was raided. They were tortured and all of that, they told their story. And for me, all those ones have not been dealt with. And I always say that, yes, it's happening to someone. If we all keep quiet about it, one day it will but happen sometimes to Even recently, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb so, yes, No, no, I was coming there. I mean, sometimes the journalist, mm. look, what Caleb did was wrong. No, but but, but if what he did was wrong, go to they certain are, countries. They are Security, I am a bad boy. You think you can just enter the Burma camp and start talking? No, there is a reason why. There is a reason why. You are coming down here. You can't do that. No, but there is a reason why. A lady is waiting. Good morning, TV3. The noise about the reversal of benchmark discounts is so ridiculous. When it goes left, Guta will complain. And when it shifts right, AGI is also complaining. Can't we find a middle ground? So what do they want the government to do? Anyway, regards to Bafwa Jumansako, the incoming MPP Eastern Regional Youth Organizer. And that's coming from Nane Kuyamabwating, Ablekuma Central. Um, good morning, Johnny. Kojo Ponkruma is one of the youth politicians, one of the young politicians who has disappointed the youth big time. In government, he sees the media in a different perspective because his belly is full. God is watching all of them. Henry from Nkoko sent in that one. Johnny, the Ghana Black Stars will surely pull out a surprise in this tournament. Let's pray and support them. Go Black Stars, go Ghana. Regards to Dr. China, um, is it China? Incoming National Treasurer. Okay, Master Planner from Kintampo sent in that one. Johnny, good morning and good morning to your panelists, Comrade Eda Magbana and my boss, George AEC. I salute you all. 
Johnny, my worry, however, this morning is that I want my boss to tell me when we, the retrenched staff of NADMO, will be paid our ex crusher after staying home for 21 years. He says retrenched. Yes. We are really finding it difficult to survive whilst others have died out of frustration. Please, boss, bear with us. We are really suffering. Bakowale in the savannah region sent in that one johnny um well-meaning Ghanaians, appreciate your work but your dear agri is suffering is suffocating under the whims and caprices of the district assembly's kum politicians philip tizakeni tong sent in that one good morning tv3 having faith that the black stars can bring the cup home is like believing that nanado can fight corruption oh. <laughs> some people can write things <laughs> but please let's keep the hope alive maybe cathedral would do some magic however those with bp should be very careful ismail bash sent in that one from bimbala good morning to you it's very sad on our part as a developing nation to see tertiary education lecturers embarking on a strike which indicates that someone somewhere in charge of tertiary education at the top governmental level is not acting right or laws governing tertiary education is not fully defined to enhance or encourage tertiary teachers or lecturers aaron babako kokomisa sent in that one joining we are suffering because our decision makers <coughs> don't experience the effects of their decisions. Once they, get, once they get their share, the rest can perish. Joe from Tema sent in that one. Good morning, Johnny, and your panelists, more especially my boss, Eden Magbana. As a student myself, the UTAC strike is worrying, and governments must sit down with them and bring finality to their concerns raised. Amidst all of this, the National Labor Commission's arrogance or arrogant attitude has not helped matters. Honorable Ali to Y East sent in that one. Last one says, are they dreaming of breaking the eight to continue with the mess they have created or to continue with the corruption and incompetence, lawlessness and violence, injustice and bias or what? A sound call from Santa Maria sent in that one, Johnny. Thank you very much, uh, Cookie T. And uh, <clears throat> Ambassador Sampi Ali says, um, yeah. we must be careful not to use the power of Asante Hene in the manipulation of media content content in Ghana that will be in the long-term interest in media freedom in Ghana also it says the venue is wrong the chief Tansi institution itself is a subject of media scrutiny and such subtle attempts to influence media content is dangerous the media speaks about all evils in the country and about other people but cannot talk about their own poor conditions of service how sad well I just spoke about it this morning uh, Stephen in what says good morning Johnny I can't agree more with Adam. GJ should source funds from NGOs to build capacity of journalists rather than allowing government to manipulate the institution. That's my humble opinion. George, you take a, a, final, a final word on this one. Yeah, um, thank you. <clears throat> I, I disagree with Adam when he said if, if the NDC can also do the same. No, it's not the MPP that is organized. It's a government. And government must be seen to be supporting all other state institutions to thrive. Okay? Mm. And, and the media is the fourth state of the realm. Mm. When our, whether our democracy will thrive or not, the media has a major part to play. Mm. Okay? And so if we're enhancing capacity, we are deepening their knowledge base in the subject matters that they, they, they touch you, on. You know, so you know, that is okay. You, you know the, the, and, and that cannot change Johnny you, you, from you, doing you, you his know, life. You know, as for me, me I'm yes. strong. Me, I'm strong with there are people there are who are There are people who are so, there, also there are strong. People who but you see, yeah. read the preamble of the Constitution. Yes. It says freedom, justice, probity, and accountability. Yes. That all power emanates from the people. The people. Yes. Now, the journalists, the fourth estate of the realm, are supposed to be keeping the first, keep second, and third in, in check. That's it. If, for example, we understand the principle that Joseph Goebbels brought, okay, yeah. where under Hitler he was more like an information minister, he propagandist. Propagandist. <laughs> now, we also know what the Ministry of Information's job is. Yes. It is like a modern day outfit for Joseph Goebbels. Don't you think that Adam's argument that perhaps an institution that is interested in just pushing the positives of government, putting a fine veneer on everything, as opposed to exposing what, what is wrong about government, is a one organizing capacity enhancement program for you 
it becomes a tricky thing. No. Because the information no. ministry's job yes. is just to put a fine veneer on everything government does. Yes. No, could you, we, you, you <clears throat> I'm know, not Kojo, I'm Johnny. No, 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 mm. no. I'm saying Kojo, the, the, the mm. fine, brilliant information oh, minister yes. that we have, okay, <laughs> has its acts and conduct shown that he seeks to manipulate the media to do what mm. he's bidding. Yes. No. He allows you, no, his duty is to put the fine veneer, whatever you call it. Mm. Your duty as a journalist is to dive down it's to get the old take. Right? Yes, mm. to get the other part to put out. Mm. Okay, then you come back to Kojo. Yes, you have said this, but look at these A, B, C, D happening. Mm. What do you say about mm. that? Before then, when he's not able to give you the proper answer, and go, you are the journalist. You are responsible for informing the public. You go put it out. He comes. He will be compelled to come and respond to that. Do, do okay? you, do you so agree, let's, let's, do you agree with Adam, for example, that the GJ should have taken this out? It would have not, been ideal. And not have it allowed have been, government and, to do it. No, no. DJ can do 10 times. Media Commission can do 1,000. Government can complement what's effort to get our people well equipped to mm. do their work. It doesn't stop government. GJ can still go ahead and do their work. And I agree with him. It would have been ideal if GJ had done it. Mm. It would have been ideal. Which other, group, media commission. which other group is government targeting to enhance <laughs> <laughs> Maybe parliament. Yeah. We've been doing parliament very all very the soon, time. Very soon, we'll be doing capacity of electoral commission. <laughs> Johnny, I said something. I said that the, 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 the standing orders of doing. parliament, uh -huh. where it says, uh, in the absence of the uh, the sorry, speaker. the first, second deputy mm, speaker don't mm. have original voting. Right. It should be expunged. It's hey. against the Pal of Parliament the is a matter of the <laughs> No, it's, no, it's no, against the Constitution. That. Don't put me there, I beg you. No, another time we'll delve we'll into We'll delve into that. it, I hear you. We Quickly, don't need to Adam. go to Supreme yes, so, We should um, be expunged. <laughs> back on the <laughs> issue of, of journalists. Yeah, quickly. Um, journalism or the media in Ghana, you made a very important point about ownership. Mm. But I am of, of the view that all over the world, in even advanced democracies, we have situations where some media owners are politicians. But professionalism is what is required. That's right. Johnny, you can be working in a media house owned by the president of the republic. Thank you. But if the tenets of your job, mm -hmm. of your profession, demands that you are very objective mm. and you speak the truth, mm -hmm. You can still do that. That is if you are paid well. So for me, <laughs> the biggest problem, <laughs> great, great, great. I'm coming to you. The, great, mm. the, the biggest <laughs> problem is not the owners of the media houses. Mm -hmm. It is about the conditions of service. That's right. Johnny, in many media houses, even some in Accra, mm. six months, seven months, eight months, journalists who work there are not paid. Why won't they take money? from some of the huge ones allocated <laughs> by the Ministry of Information. <laughs> yeah, even NAPCO. <laughs> Why wouldn't they take money to, to try and make the government look good mm. in the eyes of the public? So I, I think that the GJA must sit up I hear you. and journalists must be confident enough mm. to stand up for themselves. I hear you. Time T, there will be some media people who want government to I hear you. There are others too who want to George, the rots. George That's AC how we build is our uh, That's how we build national our communications <laughs> director of the National Disaster Management <laughs> Organization. And through my media advocacy, we have been able to get Nadmo their ID cards. Yeah. Uh, George now has an ID card. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't <laughs> used to have an ID card with many of his... Uh, Contemporaries, but now they have ID cards. Somebody I asked about retrenchment. Uh, uh, lend me one minute, please. Somebody um, asked about yes, uh, true, some some uh, yes, monies yes, that yes, are owed yes, some yes. NADMO people. In fact, when we got there, we have had about three or four of such cases okay. that they were retrenched, right, as, as you right, said. Right. Uh, and you know, they fully bring plenty of documents. You go to the chief accountant, yes, yeah, something, but they them. gave some reasons mm. that. At the time, some of them were recruited. Government had, you know, you know, government gave maybe not move, recruit 10 people. Okay. Then by December, we had recruited seven. Mm. Then in the next year, we recruited the remaining three. Ah. But that is not done. You must go back to finance exactly. before. To yes. get clearance. Uh -huh. And so then government.
Samuel said no, no stay. So, no so right stay. now, what happens to them? And Samuel actually, I think, for whatever reason, retrenched. Uh, I think they are following on those things. Uh, I don't have the details, mm -hmm. but uh, I've encountered about three people with such. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Adam Agbana is also a deputy national communication, uh, national youth organizer. I beg your pardon of the NDC, gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed for coming. You want? Why you want that one? No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> this whole boy. He wants this one. Thank you. Fashions in Tamale for my outfit this morning. Zero two four six five nine zero one six two. Uh, zero two four six five nine zero one six two. Uh, that's the number to call this morning. Happy happy birthday to uh, belated one to Prophet David Ajiman David, um, General Overseer of the Lord's Pentecostal Church International Kaswa Branch. This from Brenda. Uh, David Ajiman, David. Okay, I hear you. And also to Mary Essel of the Church of Pentecost, Ajenbu Central. God bless you and favor you always. This is from your husband and your kids. They wish you a happy birthday. If it's your birthday as well, happy, happy birthday to Let you. Good morning um, to Bright Apiao. Bright Apiao Child Rights International as well. Good morning to you. I, I, I've seen the, the letter. They, they're asking questions about the update on clearing street children from the street. Yeah. I spoke about it. They said I have children elsewhere I have not taken care of. Shame. We'll see you after the <laughs> day.